Hi guys, today we are going to see how you can fix 100% disk usage in Windows 10. Let's say you have a laptop or a desktop and you have a high disk usage like this which could cause performance issues in your computer and your applications might take longer time to load. There can be delays in mouse movements and also a longer booting time. So if you're facing these issues, don't worry, we're going to see how you can solve it without much effort. So after watching this video, you will know how you can fix 100% disk usage in Windows 10 and improve your computer's performance. Okay. So it'll be easy and quick. Let's open the task manager by pressing the Ctrl, Shift and Escape keys on your keyboard. Or you can just right click on the taskbar to go to the task manager. Now here you can see that our disk is being completely used. There are 5 steps you can do to fix 100% disk usage in Windows 10. The first step is to remove unnecessary background processes. Some programs and services might be running continuously in the background and can increase your disk usage. So to remove them, we're going to run the dbloat windows script. This is a program which will help you remove background tasks from your computer. So to do that, just click the link below this video and it will take you to this page. Now let's copy this code. Then right click on your windows icon and click on windows partial admin. You will get a window like this. Now click here and press the Ctrl and V keys on your keyboard to paste it. And the code will be pasted here. Now press enter. Then you will get this window. This is the windows dbloat tool. Now to disable the default windows background tasks, just click tweaks. Then select your device type. I am using a laptop. So I am going to select it. And here you can see that these items are automatically selected. These are the unnecessary settings and programs that come by default with windows and can be safely disabled. So let's click run tweaks. And you can see that the tweaks have been applied. So let's click OK. So now we have successfully removed unnecessary Windows background tasks running on your computer. Now we can go to the next step, which is to disable frequent Windows updates. Getting Windows updates frequently can slow down your computer as it puts a lot of load on your hard disk. So next, let's see how you can disable frequent Windows updates and allow only important security updates. So let's go back to the tool and click updates. Now we can choose the recommended option, which will allow only security updates to be installed and your new windows update settings will be applied. Now we have successfully removed the frequent windows updates. So let's click OK. Let's go to the third step, which is to disable startup apps. Usually, to use an app, we open it manually. But some apps open automatically when we turn on our computer. And they continue to run in the background too. These apps will increase the disk usage on your computer. So to disable startup apps in the task manager, let's open the task manager by pressing the Ctrl, Shift and the Escape keys. Now click on startup and here you can see the startup apps on your computer. Now to stop unnecessary apps from starting automatically with windows, just right click on the app and select disable and it will be disabled. In the same way, you can disable the auto startup feature for the remaining apps. So now we have simply disable the startup apps on our computer. Okay, we can now go to the fourth step of reducing the disk usage which is to disable the background service which causes high disk storage. Some services on your computer will continuously run in the background and can increase the usage on your hard disk. So to disable these services, open the start menu, type services. Now click OK and you will get this window. These are the services running on your computer. Now scroll down until you see sysmain. This service preloads the most frequent apps you use and keeps them ready which requires high disk usage. So to disable the service, just right click on it and click properties. Now click here and select disabled. Then click apply and click OK. So now we successfully disabled the background service which can cause high disk usage. OK, we can now go to the final step of reducing the disk usage which is to uninstall any third party free antivirus from your computer. Generally, we do not recommend using free antivirus as it runs in the background all the time and can cause 100% disk usage. So before we remove the antivirus, first let's check which antivirus we are using on our computer. So let's go to start and type Windows Security and press enter. Now if you click on virus and threat protection, here you can see the antivirus which is currently installed on your computer which is AVG. So to uninstall it, let's go to start, then go to settings. Now click apps and here you can see all the apps installed on your computer. Now select the antivirus 
and uninstall it. And you can see that we have successfully uninstalled the antivirus. Now if we go back to Windows Security, you can see that AVG is no longer running on your computer. Now if you click settings on the bottom left corner and click manage providers, you can see that Windows by default has an antivirus called Microsoft Defender which protects your system from any viruses and malware. But if you really need an antivirus, we recommend you to use Kaspersky antivirus. You can get it by clicking the link below this video. I am going to continue using Microsoft Defender. Ok. Once you are done with this step, just restart your computer and check the disk usage. So let's restart our computer. Now let's open the task manager. Here you can see that our disk usage has been reduced. So now you know how you can fix 100% disk usage in Windows 10. Now if you are still facing any issues with disk usage, you can fix that by upgrading your computer's hard disk to an SSD. Currently, we have two types of storage drives that we use on our computers. Hard disk drive which is HDD and solid state drive which is SSD. A hard disk can read and write files with speeds around 100 MB per second and SSDs can read and write files with speeds around 500 MB per second. As you can see, SSDs are much faster than hard disk drives. So there's a significant speed difference based on the type of drive your computer has. This includes the time it takes for your computer to load windows, open apps, copy files and more. So first, let's check whether our computer uses an SSD or a hard drive. So let's open the task manager by pressing the Ctrl, Shift and Escape keys on your keyboard. Then click on performance. And here you can check and see if your computer has a hard drive or an SSD. You can see that we currently have a hard disk drive. If you already have an SSD, it will be shown here like this. So if you have a hard drive and want to greatly improve the performance of your computer, you can do that by adding an SSD. Ok, so next, let's see how you can add an SSD to your Windows computer. So, there are two ways in which you can use Windows with SSD. The first method is to do a fresh install of Windows on the SSD and if you want to do that, you can watch this video. In this video, we will see the second method which is to copy all the files from your hard drive onto your SSD and then replace the old hard drive on your computer with the new SSD. Now to do this, we need two things. First of all, an SSD and then a connector cable like this. As you know, we still have all our files and windows in the hard disk of our computer. So we will be using this cable to copy everything from our computer to the SSD. So to get our SSD, first we need to find out what size SSD we need for our computer. To do that, let's open the task manager by pressing the Ctrl, Shift and Escape keys. Click on performance and click on the C drive here. Here you can see the capacity is 233 GB. So we need to get an SSD which has a storage larger than this. If you have a hard drive of higher capacity like say 950 GB, you will have to get an SSD of larger size accordingly. So to get your SSD and connector cable, just click the link below this video and it will take you to this page on Amazon. Now here, choose the size based on the amount of storage you need. Now I need around this much storage, so I am going to select this and click buy now. And now we have successfully purchased our SSD. Ok, now to purchase the connector cable, let's go back to our video and click on this link. Now this is the cable we need to connect the SSD to our computer. So let's click buy now. And we have successfully purchased our connecting cable. Ok, once you get the SSD and the connector cable, next let's see how you can copy all your files from the hard drive to the new SSD. So to copy everything, first we need to install a software called Macrium Reflect 8. This is the software which will help you copy all your files from the Windows OS to your new SSD. So to get the software, just click the link below this video and it will take you to this page. Now scroll down and on this plan, click free download and you will get this pop-up. Now select this option and click continue. You can see that the installation file will be downloaded to our computer. Now to install the software, let's click on it and you will get this window. Now click download and the software is downloading now. Once the download is complete, you will get this window. So let's click next and again click next. Now select this option, click next, then click on this box and click next. 
Now you can uncheck this box. Then click next. And again click next. Finally, let's click install. So now we have successfully installed the Macrium Reflex software. So let's click finish. Once you've installed the software, we can start copying all the files from the hard drive to the SSD. So take your SSD and connect it carefully with the connector cable like this. And then connect the USB end to the USB port in your computer. Once you've connected the SSD to your computer, let's go to Windows and open the Macrium Reflex software. And here you can see the drives which are connected to your computer. This is the hard disk drive where we have all our files and Windows OS. And this is our new SSD. Now here, make sure the Windows OS drive is selected and click clone this disk. So to copy everything to the SSD, here you need to select the destination where you want the data to be copied. So let's click here and select a new SSD. Now click next. Again click next and click finish. Now click OK. Check this box and click continue. You can see that all our files in Windows OS are copying to the SSD. This process will take some time so you can take a break now. Once it's done, this window will pop up. And you can see that we have successfully copied all our files and the Windows OS from our old hard disk to the new SSD. Once you have copied your files, you can disconnect the SSD from your computer by clicking here and click on eject safely. You can now safely disconnect the SSD and the connector cable. Finally, now we can add this SSD to our computer. So to add the SSD, let's open our laptop's back panel. And as you can see here, this is our hard disk drive. Now to add a new SSD, let's remove the hard drive. Once you have removed it, insert your SSD. And so now we have successfully added the SSD storage to our computer. Now let's reattach the back panel and screw it in. This process will be slightly different for every laptop. To find the exact process to follow for your laptop, you can check out the model number of your laptop like this. Let's say your laptop's model number is Lenovo IdeaPad 330. So just go to YouTube, search for SSD upgrade Lenovo IdeaPad 330 and you will get these videos. So you can follow this video to open your laptop and change the hard drive to the SSD you have prepared. Once you've added your SSD, switch on your laptop and open the task manager by pressing the control shift and escape keys on your keyboard and here you can see that this usage is very minimal so that's it guys this is how you can fix 100 percent this usage in windows 10. okay now if you want to learn how to build a website in 10 minutes you can do that by watching this video also make sure you click the subscribe button to see more videos from us so thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video take care bye bye